bucket Craig wants to get into a running match with Gonzaga I don't think it's going to work for him because even though you got a quick few quick baskets you got to really play good defense and take selective shots on the offense Knight felt misses the jumper it was knocked out of bounds by Jeremy Pargo so it goes to LMU but Vernon Teal we've seen the, the great assist a moment ago the lob to Young for the dunk and then the nice little offensive play the sophomore from Jamaica Queens New York averaging nearly 15 points a game he's been out with that broken foot that's a big loss for LMU and it's obvious watching him that he's got some skill yeah he's got skills and I tell you what he's getting valuable minutes nice play by Leron Armstead to finish there his first points and LMU to within four. Stephen Gray, deep three. Heitfeld with a little screen. Yeah, you got to pick your poison on that one. Stephen Gray being a shooter, you better chase him over with it, your hand right in his hip pocket because he'll stop behind the screen and shoot. Dubois fell to the ground, no call. And now foul called here, I believe, on Pargo. Pargo. Stephen Gray's first bucket of the game coming from about 25 feet away. Day with a screen. And it's 13 6, Gonzaga. Gonzaga with a seven point lead. The Loyola Marymount playing hard. This is a very young team. And they're hanging with Gonzaga. Heitfeld lines up the three, missed it off the front of the rim. Gray with the putt back is good. That's a great point, Greg. You just mentioned they're a young team. How long can they sustain this energy level? Because as being a young team, you usually come out when you're playing the number three team in the country. You're going to play your hearts out, right? Can they sustain it through a period of time, even when Gonzaga starts beating them down with building up the lead to nine now? Great. Now with five, and he commits the foul there as Teal took him to the block and spun away. And Steven called for the reach in. That's his first, team's third. Okay, uh, Vernon Teal's been out of the lineup a lot for LMU. Doesn't shoot the three well. He's 0 for 6 this year, but boy, he reminds me of the bell kid for Pepperdine with a lot of energy. Here's Downs. Heitfeld and the flush with one hand. Gonzaga's great in transition. Really good decision on Micah Downs. He took it as far as he could, and when the defender finally committed to him, Josh was running the right side and just fed him a nice uh, pass that got Josh a big dunk. Heitfeld now with five, and Gonzaga starts the game seven of ten. Shooting. Teal looking for help, and Gonzaga on a 7-0 run here. Teal splits the defenders. Oh, he called for the travel. I thought he got through there. Fourth turnover now for LMU. But you ask, you ask me what makes GU a good defense? Look, overplaying, getting the deflection, and then getting the ball out and turning that turnover into points on the other end. That's huge for their de uh, defense. But also, when Josh Heifeld switched out on a pick and roll, he switched out on the little guy. guys. So if you got guys that are able to do that, your defense is going to be very, very good. If you're a Zag fan, don't go to the fridge now. Ira Brown's in the game. <laughs> this would not be a good time to go. Here's Ira. And the easy lay in there. But he's got the athleticism. He could have done some more damage even that close to the rim. Well, well I, I got a vouch for him. You know what? Yeah, he's on a 9-0 run right now. But, you know, Ira is 26 years old. It takes him about three trips down the floor before he gets warm and, and uh, ready to jump above the rim. Pargo, the three in transition, no good. Tipped away. And now Teal and Pargo try to chase it down. Pargo saved it to his teammate Ira Brown. Great play by the senior from Chicago. That looked like that guy from Jamaica this year, Bolt. As that guy ran so fast, he both Jeremy, Jeremy ran just as fast as both did in the Olympics and got that ball and saved it. And look what happened. Good things happen when you hustle like that. First foul, team's fourth foul, but the first on Jared Dubois. So Matt Bolden will shoot the free throws. And Greg, how good has Matt Bolden been? recently for Gonzaga over the last five or six games he's been tremendous. Last five or six games you're no question. I think it all started with that Tennessee game where he went 11 for 20 for 26 points and he just kind of started feeling what all good players do feeling that they're playing very well and it's been carrying over into the conference and you know the stat that's the most impressive 4.5 assist to turnover ratio. That's huge. That is huge. And he's got five points now in this first half at LMU. He'll kick out to Armstead. He drives. Nobody there to defend. 
until Gray popped out about six feet away from the rim. That was good enough. And the foul called here on Vernon Teal, number 11. Well, you can really frustrate a young team by making them take tough shots, and that's exactly what's happening right now. GU is just flying around on the defensive end, matching up with whoever's in front of them, and making the, the, the Lions take some tough shots. And right now, they're building up a comfortable lead. Gonzaga on 11-0 run in the last two minutes and 50 seconds. So not only has the defense done its job, Greg, but they're scoring points quickly. But the turnover there. Yeah. See, we hexed Maddie then, didn't we? We just told what a great assist to turnover ratio is. <laughs> yeah. No, that's going to happen. He had a great high-low pass to Micah Downs. It's just that uh, Micah looked like he had two defenders on him and got caught behind one and couldn't get to the pass. Turnover number three on Gonzaga. There's Derek. Howard Brown defending. Young. Picked up his dribble, so he had to get it to a guard. Dubois trying to drive on Ira Brown. Gets into the middle. Left hand up. No good. Derek with the rebound. LMU. Back strong and a chance for three for Marco Derek, a senior out of Australia. Well, Zags, I thought, had a good defensive possession that time. And with Jared Dubois, he's not a great outside shooter, and he's left-handed, so they're switching on the pick and rolls. But if he gets around you and into the paint, that draws the defenders on the baseline to come up, and that's where Marco Derrick took advantage of uh, the Zags being out of off our defensive rebounding position. Ira Brown with his first foul. That's four on Gonzaga. Derrick with the three-point play, and it's 21-9 Gonzaga. No real post player in there now except for Ira Brown. Holding up the middle for Gonzaga. There's a shot, no good. Tipped around, grabbed by number 24, Laurent Armstead. So a small lineup for GU right now, Craig. Yeah, and it almost matches up with uh, the Lions, but uh, the Lions trying to sh slow the Zags down on the other end, going to a 2-3 zone, changing up from their man-to-man. -man. Young. Dubois falling down, got it to Derek, and now Teal from three. That shot is off. Teal now 0 for 7 this year from behind the arc. Holding into the corner, this is Stephen Gray. Derek and Pargo battle for it, and the Australian runs it down in the corner. Well, that's two possessions where the Zags shot quick threes on the, on the defense of the LMU, but they got to take be a little more patient. I know they got the perimeter shooters out there, but they can be a little more patient on the end. Time out on the floor, 11.24 to go. First half, Gonzaga up 21 to nine. Big Gonzaga leading Loyola Marymount with 11.24 to play in the first half in Los Angeles. Mark Few now in its 20th year at Gonzaga, 10. Sitting at the end of the bench as the head coach as we look at uh, 249 wins and where that puts him, uh, obviously has yet to finish his 10th season, but Craig climbing that list, he's been up with Roy Williams and Everett Case for several years as far as season seven, season eight, season yeah. nine. Uh, he's had one of the historical starts in college basketball. Yeah, and you can't say that he doesn't deserve really so be, need to be up there because his non-conference schedule uh, against tough opponents like Connecticut, Tennessee, Maryland. I mean, it speaks well for itself. He's, his, he's well deserving of being at that top of that list. Micah down, showed on the three. Dimitri Goodson into the game now for Gonzaga, number three, the freshman out of Spring, Texas. And he's got the ball right now, cutting to the middle. And it's a nice runner in the lane over Brad Sweezy, a sophomore out of California's Westminster. And GU on a 13-3 run, and they lead it 23-9. That was a tough shot by Meach. I didn't think he was going to get it over Sweezy, but sometimes the element of surprise works. Teal draws the foul, spitting. And he'll go to the free throw line. This foul on Dimitri Goodson, his first. And that is number five on Gonzaga.